Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Criterion Corner. This has been one of my favorite things I've done on the channel. I feel like I've had so many great discussions with people about films in the collection, talking about movies that I love in the Criterion Collection, and kind of getting your opinions to these films as well. And today, if you can't tell by my shirt, I'm going to be talking about a David Lynch movie. And if you've been following my channel for a while now, you know David Lynch is my favorite director. I've seen each one of his films multiple times. I think that he is just absolutely brilliant. A while back, I did a two-part review of ranking all David Lynch's films. I talked about each one in a little bit of detail, but I didn't really get a lot of time to really pour myself into the film entirely because you're talking about so many movies, so you're kind of just rushing yourself. So because so many of David's films are in the Criterion Collection, this will give me the ability to talk about his movies in a little more length. And so today I want to talk about one of David's films that I feel like, you know, despite its critical acclaim, when people talk about David's filmography, I feel like they kind of push this one out of the way or it's not really talked about as much. And the film I'm going to be talking about today is... The Elephant Man. The Elephant Man is directed by David Lynch. A Victorian surgeon rescues a heavily disfigured man being mistreated by his owner as a sideshow freak. Behind his monstrous facade there is revealed a person of great intelligence and sensitivity based on the true story of Joseph Merrick called John Merrick in the film, a severely deformed man in 19th century London. This is an early film in David Lynch's career and what's really great is when you read about David and you look into his career, when he started with Eraserhead, he never thought that he was going to be able to make movies like The Elephant Man because Eraserhead, when it was first released, was so poorly received and so hated by critics when it first came out that if it wasn't for Mel Brooks kind of putting it on this midnight circuit and getting it to the correct people to see, David's career might not have taken off in the way that it did. And David accredits Mel Brooks to getting the ability to making The Elephant Man. And I was lucky enough that the first time I saw this movie, uh, there's a theater in my town called Studio 35. There was a retrospective a couple years ago where they played every David Lynch film. And I was lucky enough to be able to go see most of the films. And this was actually my first time seeing The Elephant Man when I saw it in the theater. I'd seen most of David Lynch's filmography beforehand. Uh, Dune and The Elephant Man were the only two films in his filmography that I had not seen prior to watching it at a theater. And seeing this film on the big screen for the very first time was just so incredible. This film is so David Lynch at its core when it comes to cinematography and performances, but it's so heartfelt and beautiful and human. One of the things about David that gets a lot of flack and that I really don't like when people use this to criticize David as a filmmaker is they say that his movies are so surreal and non-personal and so wild and weird and that they don't make any sense. And I feel like that's so wrong on so many different levels because David as a filmmaker does such an amazing job even with his more surrealist films like Inland Empire or Lost Highway makes you care so deeply for these characters and understands human beings in a way that I feel like most filmmakers don't. And this is arguably next to The Straight Story, probably one of David's most personal films, getting into the human condition and understanding people in such a beautiful and empathetic way. You have our lead characters, Anthony Hopkins, who plays this doctor, who goes to a carnival sideshow and finds uh, John Hurt's character who is the elephant man and he's being horribly mistreated like he's nothing and he brings him into this hospital and kind of rescues him from this life and he doesn't talk for a very long time and when he does start to talk you realize that he is a genius and the entire movie is Anthony Hopkins talking to him and, and introducing him to these people and understanding that despite his outward appearance that inside he is this beautiful human being who is so intellectual and loves art and, and the beauty of the world. And he sees so much beauty in the world despite how horrible he has been treated. And that's what I love so deeply about this film. John Hurt's performance in this is probably in my top 10 performances of all time. He is so committed to this character and this role. And it's heartbreaking to watch how he's treated and then this person who 
literally treated him as an animal trying to come back and take him away from this environment that he's thriving in and that Anthony Hopkins is doing everything that he can to give him the life that he so deserves after being treated like absolutely nothing. The cinematography in this film is much like David Lynch's other work. I really love all the stuff outside. This film shot in beautiful black and white. There's so much like mysterious shots in this fog and and um, all the outward settings are so beautiful. Similarly to Eraserhead, a lot of earlier David's work has this very unique quality to it. And I just love watching this movie for that aesthetic. Everything shot in the hospital is done really well. And all of the performances in this film are great. I love watching the optimism of John Hurd's character grow throughout the film as good things happen to him. But then you know, the bad things come into play and things get worse for a really long period of time. And it's just so well done. And like I said, it's just such a beautiful story of understanding a person despite their outward appearance and how they can be on the inside. And what really matters is that, that inward nature and, and what makes them human. And their outward appearance doesn't matter. And seeing all the people throughout the film who get to know him and there's this actress at one point who comes to visit him and who just loves sitting there and talking to him and understanding his brain and John Hurt gives the, so many of these beautiful monologues throughout the film that are just fantastic and Anthony Hopkins performance is so great you can almost put yourself into his shoes throughout most of the film and seeing how horrible John Hurt's character is treated and the health conditions that arise because of the way that he has been abused, wanting to get him to be better. and it, it, It's just really a beautiful story and I cannot recommend it enough. So yeah, that's The Elephant Man. I think everybody needs to see this film. It's such a great film in Lynch's catalog. The Criterion uh, release of this movie is fantastic as per most of their other movies and uh, I really love this film and I think it's one that doesn't get talked about enough and everybody should see it. So have you seen The Elephant Man? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. I love this movie. I think it's so well made. I think it's it's David Lynch being David Lynch and uh, he has such a unique filmography. He is my favorite filmmaker and he's just made so many incredible pieces of work and this is definitely one of them. As always, if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel, it helps me out a lot and lets me know the type of content you're looking for. I'm always putting out new videos and I love getting more material out there for you. And as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.